Hello guys, Fax here. I'm gonna show you the basics of Animaker. Animaker is easy and fast to use, but it's not that easy to apprehend. So, as a first tutorial on Animaker, we'll create an animated texture of water. The one I created for Pure BD Craft Resource Pack. This one. If you had to create this animation manually, that would be very difficult and would require advanced skills. However, with Animaker, we'll just spend a few minutes in fact, the big part of the work is for the creation of the static texture we'll use in Animaker. The goal of this tutorial is not to show you how to create the base textures, but how to animate your textures. So you'll find in the description of this video the two base textures to use in Animaker to follow this tutorial. You'll also find all the links and the GIF of the result. So let's go. Open the zip file and open the Animaker folder. Go to the lib folder and drag and drop the zip content there. Now launch Animaker. Okay. Animaker is composed of three edit modes. The animation editor, the sprite sheet renderer, and the animation player and splitter. The animation editor is the place we spend most of our time to create the animation. The Sprite Sheet Renderer is the tool to manage rendered frames from the Animation Editor in a PNG file we can use in Minecraft. The Animation Player and Splitter is the tool to open a Sprite Sheet and play the animation. It's also a tool to split the Sprite Sheet into several frames that we can then edit or reuse in the Animation Editor. To begin, open the Animation Editor. Animaker is composed of three groups of layers. Each layer is animated with customizable offsets. Open Water Light in first group and Water Dark in second group. As you can see, if we move the animation cursor on the timeline, each layer is animated with its own offset based on the group settings. The animated water texture we want is composed of two layers, a dark one which simulates the deep caustics and a lighter one which simulates the near caustics. Our animation will have 32 frames as set by default. Left click on the first layer of first group to add the layer to the frame and start the animation. As we can see, the animation already loops. Click stop. What we want now is to add a distortion effect. In Animaker, we can get automatic distortions thanks to the lens effect. To apply your lens effect, just click on the button effects, select lens and apply. A lens effect distortion is done thanks to a grayscale picture. Animaker is shipped with several lens pictures. We have Bumps, Bumps All, and many more. Well, feel free to try each of them. For the water texture, the default lens effect is OK. As you can see on the animation, a distortion is now applied. Click Play and see how the texture is deformed. The first layer of the water texture is nearly done. Now, enter a name, like water-light, and click Render Frames. The animation is not finished yet. We've already rendered our first layer. We now need to build the second layer. Right-click on the animation frame to reset all used layers. Add the third layer of second group to the animation frame and rotate it one time. I chose the third layer and I rotated it to make it different from the previous choices. Check if the animation loops, and that's the case. And enter a name like Wotoda. Click the button Render Frames, wait a bit, and we finished the renders of the two layers for our water texture. Now go to the spreadsheet render. Here we can do three things. We can delete frames if necessary by selecting a frame and press delete. We can apply an offset in X and Y and we can merge the frames to build a spreadsheet. In our case, we want the water to be still and not flow. For the dark water, we need to apply a Y offset of 16. Play the animation and see how the dark water looks like. That's quite mesmerizing. Now, click on Save Spreadsheet, wait a bit, and click No, because we don't need to open now the rendered spreadsheet. We now need to convert the light water as well. Load the light water animation and set the X offset to 16. Click Save Spreadsheet, wait a bit.
and click no. The Animaker job is now finished. The very last step we need to do is to merge both spreadsheets we rendered. Click on Open Anims folder and launch your favorite image editor. For this tutorial, I use Paint.net because it's free and very easy to use. So close Animaker, launch Paint.net or any other image editor you like, and drag and drop the two pictures in the image editor. Copy the light water picture, go to the dark water picture, add a new layer, and paste. Click on settings, set the alpha transparency to 50%. Merge both layers and apply an alpha transparency to 30%. Save the picture as PNG, click on Save As, and save the animation picture in your resource pack in Textures slash Blocks folder. You now have your final spreadsheet to include in your resource pack. For Minecraft, you'll need to write a MC meta file to list all the frames available in your spreadsheet and in which order you want Minecraft to play them. To do so, open the folder where you saved the picture. Create a new text file, rename it water stillpngmcmeta Open it in Notepad and type brace quote animation quote colon brace quote frames quote colon, bracket, and enter the index of each frame contained in your animation picture. Here, we just need to enter 0 to 31 because we have 32 frames. Save and close. This tutorial is now finished. I hope you enjoyed it, so feel free to ask questions on the Animaker forum and like and sub on BDCraft channel. See you soon. Peace.